Hello guys, Relic Blade here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Going to do a Microsoft Flight Simulator video for you here. I'm in my high octane so uh, simulator here. We got the F-22A Raptor. United States fifth generation fighter. Guys, they spent almost two years designing this exact jet. The movement, it's got thrust vector technology, which just allows you to have capable movement at almost any speeds. One thing I do love about this Raptor is I seem to have a lot of control and a lot of speed at like 50,000 feet. And then obviously anything lower than that, you're still pretty lean. This jet was $35, you get two versions of it. The F-14 is also $35 and you get two versions of those as well. I highly recommend both purchase. They both fly so unique and fun. Every jet in here is so purposeful and unique. Guys, they give you the F-18 for free and it's probably one of my favorite jets. I've done most of my footage with the F-18. It's movement second to none. And it just goes fast enough for I don't get impatient. Highly recommend the SU-57 Stealth. It was $20. I recommend the 117 Nighthawk. I just bought that for $20. I think it's got awesome maneuverable capabilities. Good interior cockpit views like this F-22. And if I'm correct, that, that little night screen on there, I believe that's night vision. I haven't played enough with that jet or flew it at night to really see it. But I was flying it the other day as the sun was going down, and I thought it was reading on that screen pretty detailed on the terrain below. I was really seeing lighting differences, which I usually don't see in other jets. I'll be the first one to tell you I have not bought the F-15 or the F-16s. They are wanting a crap ton of money for those, like 35, 40, 45 ish. Guys, my in my opinion, they must be worth it. Everything I've spent in this game, like when I've went up in value, I can see where the money's went. Um, this F-22, I think, is my favorite jet. They're all so unique. Sometimes you get in, you don't fly one for a while and you get back in it and you're like, okay, wait, maybe this is my favorite. But I just think all around this jet is one that I have a hard time loading up with. Obviously, it's United States cutting edge fighter, which helps too, but just the look of it, the sounds, the way it really, and it's just the way it flies. They all have a unique flight, you know, feeling, but this one, it's just special. You can tell, you can see where the time spent and the money spent is going. I'm not the right guy to get your reviews from on this game, guys. I'm more of a high-level competitive gamer who just loves simulators. I'm willing to support the game and you know, spend a little money on it, but I don't have all the best information. I would you know, look up. There's, I'm sure there's other guys you can look up. I know T. Martin Airlines, I believe that's his name. I watch him sometimes for flights and videos, and he's awesome to watch. That's definitely what my videos are lacking, is like a camera view and more talking, I think. But who knows? Maybe the talking could ruin the video. Generally, my videos, I'm wanting it to be more about the game, unless it's one of my one-minute shorts, then I like to add a little music to it to be dramatic. But, but I just love everything about every game I play. I generally play Gears of War or Flight Sim, and then I'll mix in a little Madden and maybe a little Forza. Gonna be coming in on our approach here soon. It's weird, this jet, it's almost as if 
you can tell they have a flying saucer in a hangar somewhere and they're trying to emulate as much about it as possible but yet we still haven't figured out their propulsion so we're we're messing with things like vector thrust compulsion I, oh boys I just messed that up but you know what I mean we're messing with our normal compulsion our normal jets and so we have to build them with those limitations but it just kind of floats down like right when you start to lose airspeed it doesn't drop out of the sky like most jets and even when it starts to you can kind of nose dive and re-hit your thrusters and regain control because of the thrust vector technology it's just a fun jet to fly So if you're into if you're into cylinders or simulators, I highly recommend Microsoft Flight, Flight Simulator. I got to be honest, I haven't played any other simulator out there, so again, my opinion should be taken with a grain of salt. I think the reason I jumped on ship with this is because I was real, really looking for something more realistic with Earth. I wanted to see be able to travel in a simulator without actually going anywhere. I don't want to go to Egypt, but of course I want to see it. And I know you can go on YouTube and see the real thing in 4K, but how much fun is that? I mean, when you can actually fly from a real airport that's this detailed, fly around cities, you just kind of get lost in it. It's just a lot of fun. Well, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I love you. Take care.